and welcome to Zoom into church. It's really exciting to be with you this uh, morning. Hopefully it's still shine, the sun is still shining and um, yeah, it's good to be with you. Um, my name is Hannah and this guy here, Hello. you're not Gid. Who are you? No, um, yeah, Gid, Gid has uh, had a terrible... Um, yeah, he had a terrible loss last week, I've been told. So he, he, yeah, he contacted me and said, well, Phil, I can't bear to come and do it again. Um, I, I can't come and um, broadcast this um, at, at a loss, so I have to take a week off. Would you step in for me? So, hi, everyone. I'm Phil. I'm um, from the Heavenly Gathering of Cornerstone Baptist, um, and I help out with some of the youth on a Sunday morning every so often with Nathan and Colin and some of the others. So that's me. Well, it's wonderful to have you with us, Phil. Good. Well, I hope you recover soon and uh, you'll be able to come back fighting next week. Um, so yeah, this is us. This is us for Zoom into church this week. And um, hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Phil, do you want to introduce our challenge for this morning? Cool. So I think most people have heard about rock, paper, scissors. So Hannah and I are going to do a variation on this. So. We're going to do Goliath, King and David. So we're going to have some actions. Feel free to play along at home. We will give you time to do that. So for um, the King, we have our sign, which would be this little crown on our heads. I'll duck down a bit so everyone can see that. Then we also have Goliath. We know that Goliath was big and really strong. So our sign for Goliath is going to be big arms and nice and strong. And for David, he knocked down Goliath with a catapult. So there are three signs. So David beats Goliath, as in the true Bible story. Um, then Goliath will be our king in this scenario. And the king will beat David in this scenario as well. So we'll run through the actions again so everyone knows. <laughs> so that is a catapult for David Ooh. to knock down Goliath, our strongman. Ooh. Goliath will beat the king. Ooh. And the king will beat David. Ooh. Cool. Hopefully everyone's got that at home. So I hope, you're, I hope you're enjoying the sound effects. Yeah, oh, the sound effects are just making it. It's just, it's just brilliant. It's yeah, full of energy. We love it. We're trying to get everyone infused. So, smash in. So it's gonna work by we're gonna um, say three, two, one, and we're gonna have our eyes shut. And when we say go, we're gonna be ready with our action, and we'll open our eyes. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so if you want to play along, you can, you might want to decide to play against one of us. You might decide you really want to beat Phil, the new guy, um, or you might decide you want to beat me. We're going to do a round of three, um, and whoever wins out of those three will win forevermore. This will go down in history between Hannah and Phil, that either Hannah was the champion forever and ever, or Phil was the champion forever and ever. Well, so, well good luck to you, Hannah. Um, good luck, Phil, good luck. Here we go. I'm on a winning streak so far, Phil, so you, you, you know. Of one. <laughs> I like to remind you, I, I will humble you there. I will humble you there and say, it, it's a one, it's a start, but it's nothing special. Um, Gid, Gid did a massive one. He got five, didn't he? Yeah, he's doing oh. pretty well. He's doing pretty well. So right, hope, let's get going. Here we okay. go. Here we go. So, first round. So I'm going to close my eyes. Close my eyes. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. See if you won at home. Did you win at home? Right. Get oh. ready with your next action. I'm closing my eyes. Closing my eyes. Okay. Three, two, one. Open. Bow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a draw. We might have to do four rounds. Have, might have to okay. do four. Oh. Oh no, it's who went? Oh no, no, no. Nah. Yeah, okay. okay. Get it, this get inside it. Hannah's head. Oh, what's she gonna pick? I've got to win this one. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. Cool, okay. cool. Ready, close my eyes. Three, two, one, open. 
Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, Hannah, how does it feel? Oh. <laughs> Didn't even need to go into the next round. We can do it so you get a point, maybe. Oh. No, it's so good. It's so, so good. Yes. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be invited are back. You are victorious. You are. I am. Here is the crown. Oh, you thank you. I, I will take it and put it on. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take my bells. <laughs> well done, Phil. This oh. is a feeling I know well now. Amazing. <laughs> Um, how does it feel to win? Oh, honestly, I'm I'm ecstatic. I'm over the mood. I, I, I yeah, I'm I'm feeling great. This is this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that was that was our game this week, and that's how it goes. Oh. Okay, Phil. Better luck next time, Hannah. Better luck next time. Phil, will you introduce what we're looking at this week? Yes, so the psalm we are looking at, well, we are looking at a psalm. Um, the psalm we are looking at is Psalm 99, um, specifically verse 3. And it's about God's holiness and, yeah, how he looks after us, I guess. Um, but yeah, yes. have you got your Bible ready, Hannah? So this is our verse for this week, by Psalm 99. Verse three. I keep saying 97, it's definitely not 97, it's definitely 99. 99. Like the ice cream. Oh, I'd really like an ice cream right now. Ooh, that's Psalm 99, verse 3. <laughs> have you got your Bible, Phil? Yes, I have my Bible. No bookmarks. I have my Bible. Nothing special no in it. No bookmarks. Nothing. Right. Psalms is in the middle, guys. We've done, this is like the fourth week we've done Psalms now. Third, fourth. It's a long a few. We've done this. So, guys, we should be good at finding Psalms now. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go. Go. Uh... I'm there, I'm there, no! I'm there! <laughs> no! Oh. 99! I'm there. Red balloons go by. Got there now. Here we go. Okay. It's because I've been, I've been doing it every week. So. It, it's the practice. You, you, yeah. you won something, kind of. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> So, yeah, so verse, um, verse 3 in my Bible says this. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy. And yeah, God is awesome. He has done amazing things, and that makes his name holy. Um, one of the things that I've loved doing during lockdown is sort of exploring nature and being um, with God in nature and just experiencing all the amazing and wonderful things that God has done for us um, and made and created and, and experiencing. And, um, and it can make you feel quite small at times. I remember going up to Otley Shevin a few weeks ago and just standing at the top and just being like, whoa, just look at all these amazing things that God has created. But God says that we are his masterpiece and that God is really awesome and he's made us too. And what that means is that we are God's uh, sons and daughters and we are the sons and daughters of the King. And that means that we can be holy too. There's another verse um, somewhere else in the Bible that talks about us being holy because God is holy too. And so we can be holy too, and we can be kings and queens too. So that's our verse today, and that links with our craft. So Ooh. our craft this week. What have you made, Hannah? Drum roll. I've, I've actually, I really loved doing this craft this week. <laughs> and um, I spent probably more time on it than I should have done. Oh. Um, but I've made a crown. Look at this crown. Yay. I've made it out of a cereal box. Nice. And uh, so hopefully it's out of all the things that you might have at home. Found a bit of paint. Thank you, Gaz and Alex. And, um, and then I found some shiny things to stick on it. So I can remember that I am a, a daughter. I'm not a son. I'm a daughter <laughs> of the king. Um, and it's a crown that fits on my actual head. Um, so it'd be really awesome um, if you guys would like to make one, find your find yourself some cereal boxes and paint, um, and I'd absolutely love to see some pictures of you guys wearing your crowns. Definitely. Um, you can email them to us at interns at cbcl.org 
dot uk i'll say it one more time because i love saying it interns at cbcl.org dot uk and you can make a craft you can make a crown like this we'll send you this um and some other resources too to keep you guys occupied during the service too brilliant i'm gonna keep this on because i really like it might as well like this is might my crown well. i've gone through so much effort <laughs> uh <of> making it <laughs> so yeah so that's um, that's us for today. Um, I hope you've had fun. Maybe have a go at doing your own um, rock, paper, uh, scissors. scissors. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, nice try. <laughs> um, today, maybe you can make your own version. Um, and um, yeah, Phil, would you like to pray for us before we go? Brilliant, yes, I'll have a quick prayer for us. So, um, yeah, let's close eyes and pray. Yeah, Father, thank you for this um, time this morning. Thank you that, um, yeah, your holiness and your love for us um, and ruling over us uh, and creating us. Thank you for all the great things you bring in our lives. Um, and yeah, thank you that you can radiantly shine your light um, in our lives when, yeah, times might not be going perfect. But yeah, we thank you for the, your love. We thank you for all the kind gifts that you bring to us, whether it's the great weather we're having at the moment. But yeah, Father, we, we thank you for your words that you can give to us and that we can learn from. And we hear more later in the service about um, some of the things that you've done in your words. And yeah, allow us to have open ears and um, yeah, take it into our hearts and show it in our lives. Um, so yeah, thank you, Father, for all that you do for us. Amen. 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 <laughs> hey, brilliant. Awesome. Well, enjoy the rest of the service, guys, and then um, we'll see you in the comments below um, and in the emails later this week. All right, guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. Three, two.